Now, historically, when you think of the LSU Tigers, you think of former players and coaches. Some of the first names that probably come to mind for most everybody is, of course, Pete Maravich, led the nation in scoring in the late 1960s. Of course, Shaquille O'Neal, the big guy, and Chris Jackson, another hot shooting guard. And as far as coaches, Dale Brown, the colorful head coach in the 1980s. But for some of us older guys also, one of the names that come to mind is Joe Dean, lovingly known as the Dean of the SEC because he's a former LSU basketball player, first of all, a former LSU athletic director. But uh, maybe more importantly, he's one of the first guys to originate SEC basketball on television. How many times have you been introduced as the Dean of SEC basketball? <laughs> well, that's nice that you would uh, say that. I, I hope I played some small role in the development and marketing, so to speak, of, of basketball in our part of the world. Uh, you know, it was always a sleeping giant, and, and it's, uh, it was just a question of moving it to the next level. I grew up in Indiana where it was so big, it was just so big. I mean, we played in front of such large crowds and such excitement. I knew, I knew what it could be. And, uh, but we were a little slow in the South. We didn't have, uh, uh, our arenas weren't quite up to the Midwest and other parts of the country. But now we have magnificent arenas at all the schools. Lovely, lovely. Mississippi State's is beautiful, Ole Miss, Alabama, Auburn. LSU, I mean, Kentucky at Rupp Arena with 24,000 seats and, and uh, great, great coaches. We went through a period where in the, in the real early, right after World War II, where a lot of times an assistant football coach would be the basketball coach. And I don't mean anything against that. My coach at LSU had been, at one time been a football coach, but a wonderful guy uh, named Harry Ravenhorst. And, but they began to really just hire basketball coaches. You really are oftentimes described as the father of SEC basketball television. Well, I, w I was on so long, 18 years. I left when I became the athletic director at LSU because I felt like there was a conflict of interest for me to be doing the games and really cheering for LSU. <laughs> That's where I was working. And uh, But I did the games a long time. I saw a lot of players, met a lot of people, and I watched this game change to becoming something really special. Mm -hmm. We've always made money with football, and, and, and that's still a big sport and the big money sport. Having been an athletic director for 14 years at LSU, I know the importance, and I love football. I mean, I'm a big, big football fan. But men's basketball began to make serious dollars. Joe, you graduated in 1952, I think. Yes, sir. Great athlete yourself, basketball well, player at LSU. I played. <laughs> well, let's check memory lane here. Uh, <laughs> scoring average your senior year, 1952. I averaged about 15 points a game. 18.3. 18.3. <laughs>